Good evening and welcome to evening prayer from All Saints, Car Shelton. For these services we use the Church of England's daily prayer app. In the name of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night, to you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Say Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And are so far from my salvation, from the words of my distress. O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. And by night also, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They put their trust in you and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him deliver him, if he delights in him. But it is you that took me, took me out of the womb and laid me safe upon my mother's breast. On you was I cast ever since I was born. You are my God, even from my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near at hand. And there is none to help. Mighty oxen come around me. Fat bulls of Bashan close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths. As it were a ramping and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart has become like wax, melting in the depths of my body. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue cleaves to my gums. You have laid me in the dust of death. For the hounds are all about me. A pack of evildoers close in on me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I count all my I can count all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far from me, O Lord. For you are my strength. Hasten to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my poor life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will tell of your name to my people. In the midst of the congregation will I praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. 
O seed of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, O seed of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the suffering of the poor. Neither has he hidden his face from them. But when they cried to him, he heard them. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. I will perform my vows in the presence of those that fear you. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember that and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall bow down before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's. And he rules over the nations. How can those who sleep in the earth bow down in worship? Or those who go down to the dust kneel before him? He has saved my life for himself. My descendants shall serve him. This shall be told of the Lord for generations to come. They shall come and make known his salvation to a people yet unborn, declaring that he, the Lord, has done it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. first reading is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 13, verses 5 to 18. The Philistines mustered to fight with Israel 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and troops like the sand on the seashore in multitude. They came up and encamped against uh, Michmash to the east of Beth Aven. When the Israelites saw that they were in distress, for the troops were hard pressed, the people hid themselves in caves and in holes and in rocks and in tombs and in cisterns. Some Hebrews crossed the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. Saul was still at Gilgal and all the people followed him trembling. He waited for seven days, the time appointed by Samuel. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people began to slip away from Saul. So Saul said, Bring the burnt offering here to me, and the offerings of well-being. And he offered the burnt offering. As soon as he had finished offering the burnt offering, Samuel arrived, and Saul went out to meet him and salute him. Samuel said, What have you done? Saul replied, when I saw that the people were slipping away from me, and that you did not come within the days appointed, and that the Philistines were mustering at Michmash, I said, Now the Philistines will come down upon me at Gilgal, and I have not entreated the favour of the Lord. So I forced myself, and offered the burnt offering. Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. The Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever, but now your kingdom will not continue. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart, and the Lord has appointed him to be ruler over his people, because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. And Samuel left and went on his way from Gilgal. The rest of the people followed Saul to join the army. They went up from Gilgal towards Gibeah of Benjamin. Saul counted the people who were present with him, about 600 men. Saul, his son Jonathan, and the people who were present with them stayed in Geba of Benjamin, but the Philistines encamped at Michmash. And raiders came out of the camp of the Philistines in three companies. One company turned towards Ophrah, to the land of Shual. Another company turned towards Beth Horon, and another company turned towards the mountain that looks down upon the valley of Zeboim towards the wilderness. Our hope is not in vain. 
because God's love has been poured into our hearts. God reckons as righteous those who believe. Who believe in him who raised Jesus from the dead. For Christ was handed over to death for our sins. And raised to life for our justification. Since we are justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Christ we have gained access to the grace in which we stand and rejoice in our hope of the glory of God. We even exult in our sufferings, for suffering produces endurance, and endurance brings hope, and our hope is not in vain, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit given to us. God proves his love for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have been justified by his death, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath? Therefore, we exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have now received our reconciliation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our hope is not in vain, because God's love has been poured into our hearts. Second reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verses 63 to the end. Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? They kept heaping many other insults on him. When the day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chiefs, priests and scribes, gathered together, and they brought him to their council. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, if I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question you, you will not answer. But from, the, from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, are you then the Son of God? He said to them, you say that I am. Then they said, what further test testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. You have scattered the proud in their conceit and lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have scattered the proud in their conceit, and lifted up the lowly. 
and so in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Lord, we thank you for drawing us towards a new weekend and towards the end of another week. few moments of silence, we lift up to you all that has happened in the week that is passing. We ask that you will hear all these our prayers. We pray that you will hear the prayers from those who find it difficult to pray. But for all who struggle to pray, they may know that you are in their hearts and you know them completely. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, creator of all, we give you thanks for the gift of love. At this time, we especially give you thanks for the gift of your sacrament of marriage. We pray for Will and Sarah, who were married at All Saints today. And we pray for Kelly and David, and Andre and Nikita, as they pray, as they prepare to be married this weekend. We pray that they may reflect something of the love that you have for your bride, the church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for our local community here in Carshelton as we go into this weekend. Pray for all those who are in, in need of rest and recuperation this weekend. Pray for our local bars and restaurants as they give hospitality to those in Carshelton and in the surrounding area. We ask that your peace may be upon Carshalton this night and in the days to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Father, we lift up to you this evening all who may be sick or anxious, especially lifting before you the names of Sally, Mindy, Matrix, Roy, Roy Lewis. Pharrell and Albie. We pray that you will be with them at this time, Lord, and help them to be aware of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name. Increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. 
Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.